Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I wasn't here last week with a video, but this week as it's the royal wedding, I'm going to be using a wedding kit because quite honestly, I've got no weddings coming up, like zero weddings this year, which is actually a really sad thought. So I'm gonna use it for the royal wedding and it was from Paper Chic Plans and I did actually do a collaboration with her. So I had a wedding die cut and some wedding poppets that were matching with her kit. So to start, I'm gonna use the washi. I feel like it's been a very long time since I've used full washi at the top without cutting it down into a thin strip, but I'm just going to be placing it at the top and then trimming it down with my scissors. And then the little piece that's left over, I'm just going to stick along the bottom of my planner. So last week it was all very hectic and I had a lot of personal things going on and I just I couldn't get around to filming a plan with me or even being on any social media I kind of went AWOL for a whole week but I am back this week. I don't think I was quite ready or my head wasn't quite ready to get back into um, planning but I really don't want to leave you guys hanging another week without a, a plan with me up. So I'm just putting the date covers down and it also came with date dots and I just put them on first just because it's a little bit easier. And if you haven't seen Paper Chic Plans kits before or you're not familiar with her format, she does have glitter headers that are included in the kit and there are enough glitter headers to have two on each day. So I'm just using the pinky gold colour and using them all along the top and then we can go in and go day by day. So to start Monday off I used a quote sticker from the Ginger Cat Co which is in foiled gold and it says you got this and it's just like a little reminder for me just to take a breath and just know that I've got this this week, it's going to be a lot better than last week and it's also because my daughter is starting her exams and she's totally got this so I mark that down with a page flag and I write down which exam she has, she has an RS exam today and I just use one of my little worry poppets because she's very nervous about her exams but hopefully after the first one today she'll be fine. I put down a piece of patterned washi with a Plan With Me Monday sticker from Planning Roses. I also used one of her script stickers with the upload but then it felt a little bit crowded so I just moved it underneath. I then marked down that I want to go through my shop listings. My shop has been open for nearly a year, I can't believe it, but I do need to go back and kind of look at my older poppets and make sure that they are up to date with the text that I've got written on them and just making sure that everything is more cohesive, especially when I have orders and there's some old poppets in there mixed in with the new poppets, I can really tell a difference. So I just wanna go back through my whole shop, which is going to be such a big job, but I'm hopefully gonna be doing that all this week. I've recently started watching Rain, I don't know if anybody of you have seen it, it's on Netflix and it's kind of in French but it's dubbed over with English. It's a little bit weird but I think I like it, I'm not 100% sure, I've only watched one episode. I decided to kind of give myself five different poppets a day to go over, hopefully that's not too much and if it is then I'll just have to have a catch up next week. My daughter's got another exam on Tuesday which is biology and I'm using the stack of books which is from Strawberry Lime Designs. I've got some laundry to do as well as water all of my plants that are indoors. It's also my cousin Afia's birthday on Tuesday and she's going to be one so I just wrote that down on a half box that I flipped up onto its side. The little happy birthday poppet is from my shop and then I've got two little things on which is Gilmore Girls and The Good Place. I meant two TV shows, not two little things. So for Wednesday I put down another checklist and write down the poppets that I want to try and get through. As I'm looking at it now, it's a lot of work to try and do on one day, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get through five a day, but I will do my best. I also at least want to try to design as well, so I put that down on Wednesday. If it comes down to it, I will only do like one poppet and then spend the rest of the time designing. Put down a full box, a glitter header, and then I want to work out, I've got two TV so two, ugh, I can't talk today. I've got two TV programs on. One is Rain and the other is Gilmore Girls. If you are new to my channel, then I tend to watch Gilmore Girls a lot in the background when I'm designing. So you'll always see me put down Gilmore Girls or RuPaul or Friends. So flipping it over to Thursday, I put down another checklist. I think I'm going to switch up how I'm planning for the next few weeks just while I'm going through my shop and sorting it out. I have seen a lot of you that do the checklist all the way along the top 
I think that's what I'm going to be doing next week so that way I can just work on my shop and have all of those checklists at the top. I think that makes more sense. I put down that my daughter's got her chemistry exam and then I put down this double box and it kind of went a little bit off but if I'd have pulled it up it would have ripped so we've got a bit of a wonky car. <laughs> I also needed to squeeze in that my boiler man is coming on Thursday to check over my boiler and then I obviously want to try and do some more designing ready for Friday's release. For my little things on Thursday I want to paint my nails and 2D fee shows which is Gilmore Girls and The Good Place. Friday I put down another checklist and wrote down all of the puppets that I want to go through. And the pen that I'm using is the one that I've been using a lot lately. It's just a normal handwriting pen that you see all of the teachers use in primary schools. Um, I just picked up a pack and I just really like how they write. They're really smooth and easy to write with. My daughter's got a drama exam on Friday and then I wanted to put down a don't forget because I really do want to have a new release out this week so I'm going to do my best to try and get something designed and then for my little things I just want to work out and the TV show that I've got on is The Good Place. The don't forget sticker is from my freebie from my shop. So for Saturday I put down a full box at the top and then a piece of patterned washi just to cover up the pink line. I put an appointment label down as I've got a payday, which to be honest, cannot come quick enough. <laughs> Underneath there, I've got to mark down that my partner is going to be working on Saturday. And it is the day of the royal wedding. I just marked that down with a half box that I flipped up onto its side and I also used one of the puppets from my wedding sheet. I wanted to add a little bit more so I just took two of the smaller stickers from the poppet sheet and then I wanted to put my checklist down but it was a little bit too long so I just chopped off the bottom which says bath night and it fitted perfectly. So moving on to Sunday I put another full box at the top and a piece of pattern washi and then these two pieces of washi will be the background behind my weekend banner. I put down a foiled sticker from the Ginger Cat Co which says family time. I then put down a half box which is from the family poppet sheet as we are going to be going to my mum and dad's. And then to cover up the pink line I just use another piece of plain washi and a half box because I need to mark down that my daughter will need to revise and the boys will need to do their homework. So flipping it over to the sidebar, I used the last full box at the top which says you're invited and instead of using a piece of washi to cover up that strip, I just used one of the patterned half boxes because they're really pretty and I wanted to use up the ones that I hadn't managed to use in the spread. I put down my habit tracker and then some washi before putting down my next week section. As I didn't use a full box on Tuesday, I decided to use it in my sidebar, so I just put two pieces of the glitter washi down, and then at the bottom I used another one of the decorative half boxes. I'm not even going to try and defend myself by using all of the deco. I seem to have just crept back to my old ways, and I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> Once I'd finished putting all of the deco down, I just took my scissors and trimmed everything off. I mean, I'm so deco obsessed that even the cut off bits, sometimes I just like to stick down so then I'm not wasting them. <laughs> This is a very deco heavy spread. Like I said, I don't think my mind was quite ready to plan, but this is how it turned out and here is everything that I've got left. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's plan with me. I'm so sorry that there wasn't one up last week. I can't wait to get back to my usual planning and I will see you next Monday. Bye guys!